What's up, everybody? Don't usually do this. Um, don't really ever have time to do this. But tonight, had to do this. The MMA media is making me do this because I just think they're so wrong on um, a fight pick tonight. The main event of the night, Pena versus Nunez 2, UFC 277. Dog shit card overall. Um, if you follow UFC, you probably know this is one you're not going to buy. You'll likely stream. If you don't stream it, you'll just check it afterwards. It's a terrible card. Um... But it doesn't matter. There's always money to be made. I don't care if the card is dog shit or the card is the best card of the year. We're going to bet on them anyway. Since March 12th of last year, if you guys followed me, some of you have, some of you don't, uh, up over 32 units since that time, four and a half months, not bad. Tonight, I had to make this because the Peña Nunez fight, everybody online is against me. Everybody online seems to be going the other way, and I don't get why. I don't understand it, so I have to break this one down. I have to break it down on camera here for the boys. So listen, Pena versus Nunez, we saw the last one December of last year. Uh, Nunez came out, looked pretty good. Leg kick looked good. Uh, landed some hard shots. Broke in the second round. No other way to say it. And then Pena comes in, chokes her out with a choke that's not even in, wins the fight. Now, for some reason, Everybody online is all over Nunez in the rematch, and I just don't understand. Like, what in the last fight did you see that makes you think that Nunez should win this time? I, I don't understand it. Is she a better fighter overall? Probably. Is she the better puncher, bigger power puncher? Absolutely. Does she have a better ground game? I mean, sort of, probably better jujitsu, right? But we saw what happened last time. We saw what happened last time. Pena... 11-4 overall, 7-2 in the UFC, 4 finishes in the UFC. One of them, of course, the last time out against Nunez. What does Pena do well? Pressures really well. She has grit, heart, determination. Stood in the pocket with Nunez in her only shot to win the fight. Not only shot to win the fight, shouldn't say that. But her best chance to win the fight, landing a big punch. Stood in the pocket and traded with her. Took one to give one. And eventually, that led to her win. You look at Nunez. 21 and 5 overall, 14 and 2 in the UFC, 10 finishes. She's a finish machine herself. But guess what? Guess what? In her last loss, in her last loss before this one against Kat Zingano, I think back in 2014, if you guys remember that cat fight, what happened? She was beating the piss out of Kat Zingano. It wasn't close, wasn't competitive through two. And in the third round, Kat Zingano broke her. She stayed in the pocket, she stayed in her face. She beat the piss out of Nunez. Nunez gave up TKO for Kat Zingano. Kat goes on to win the fight. Fast forward to 2021, seven years later, her last loss against Kat Zingano, and Pena kind of runs the same game plan, right? She eats the early calf kick. She, she wrestles with her on the ground, where Pena is fine on the ground. I mean, she wrestles. She looks good wrestling. Nunez can't get her out of there. And then in the second round, it starts up. And Pena stays in her face with the jab, with the straight shots, honestly throwing quicker punches than Nunez. And at, at some point, probably two minutes into round round two, you can see it on Nunez's face. She doesn't want it anymore. She knows, like, this girl's here to fight, and I can't catch her. You see Nunez. She starts overloading on shots, throws fucking crazy right hands, just doesn't land, gets gassed out, runs out of steam, and then Pena puts four on her, hurts her, goes up against the cage, Nunez tries to initiate the grappling exchange. Pena dumps her on the ground, and you see the choke with no hooks in. So we fast forward to today, a few months removed from that win. And now Pena, I have my phone right here for the odds. These are via Fox Bet. Plus 210 is an underdog in this fight. I don't get that. To finish the fight, Fox Bet always has finish odds increased. We know that. 5 to 1 to finish. She just did it. She just did it in round two. Round props, 13 to 1 round one, 18 to 1 round two, 25 to 1 round three, 35 to 1 round four, 40 to 1 in round five. I, I don't understand how you watch the last fight, fast forward to tonight and say, yeah, Nunez is the better overall fighter. Is she? I don't know. She's 34 years old. She already won two titles in the UFC. She left American Top Team to start her own gym. She adopted the kid. She's married to Nina. Like, they have a life together. Does she even care anymore? I don't know. Was Pena hungrier last time? Absolutely. Is she going to be hungrier this time out? I think so. 
And at 34 years old, I mean, th I think Penny is 32. Still, Nunez has done it all. She doesn't have to win this fight. What's the motivation coming back from this one? Avenging the loss? I mean, I guess. Other than that, what? Other than that, what did we see last time that we're, we, we don't think we're going to see again? I don't understand. Pena inside the distance at 5-1. to one, Absolute insanity. Uh, you're going to see it when I put my plays out tonight. I have a, a sprinkle on that. I have, I have a big bet on, actually, Pena inside. And then sprinkled around props as well. If I'm looking at this fight again, I just see the same thing. I think I think that it's Nunez doesn't get it done in round one. Um, Pena's going to break her again. I don't think she could go five with Pena if she keeps that same pace and pressure. Fights a similar fight. Stays in her face. Nunez is going to wilt again. If Nunez can't get her out of there in round one, I think it's more of the same. And I think there's money to be made on it tonight. But check it out. I'll have the plays out then too. Had to do the video. Appreciate you guys who follow it. And guess what? Let's cash it tonight, baby. Let's make some more money. Let's get it.